right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Uriah, Primetime Hall, and Colby Covington. and everything up. Oh, pretty good counter jabs to the head by Covington. Wow. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Covington gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Got the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Nice punch lands over the top. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Uriah Primetime Hall. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to... Hey! Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown at him without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the field? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Beautiful strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice jab there by Covington. He's a guy who will wow you with pace and pressure, whether he's wrestling or striking on the field. Yeah, he, it, it's his calling card, right? His calling card is for him to really dictate the pace, really push the pressure on you, and hope that his opponents will wilt under the pressure that he brings. Paul gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Mixes it, it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Nice body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, second round now. Uriah Hall versus Colby Covington. Sauce reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Left hand punch up the clip. Big punch to the clip. Another one. Yep. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Again, the winner here 
was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number two. He played the winner by TKO. Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think you get the kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a cool fight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Continues to mix it up. Going to nice liver shot, man. in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Good punch, Lance. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. the tape, he has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw. Oh! Back to the feet! So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes have already landed for Marlon Marais. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice punch, Lynn. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh! Unbelievable! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marlon Magic Marais. So Coming up next, it's a heavyweight championship fight between Uriah Primetime Hall and Marlon Marais. history inside these rooms. It's so crazy how the UFC has blessed this arena with so many title fights. Ronda Rousey, Kane Brock, Kane Dos Santos, Me Jones, Me Stipe, Woodley. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Huge shots there. Hands 
Tyson circling to his right now. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Strong kick to the outside of that boot leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Marlon Marais. How good is that right hand? Get out of there! Unable to land the head kick there. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Rice's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And there comes the separation now. Look at the commitment of kicking in this fight. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Uriah Hall. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Tries to work it into a takedown. Ooh, what a punch. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Stop. Well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick, too. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience oh, shows the fight. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, really is Oh, man, look at that one body shot. That shows the power and the power and the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent. 36 total strikes have now landed for Uriah Pronton Hall. Well, hitting on one out of every two, landing with 50% accuracy tonight against Marlon Marais. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, oh, yeah. or... Oh, oh, nice job to catch the leg. He saw that strike coming and now works it into a takedown. So now he has the fight to the canvas. Let's see. Oh, 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 it's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Paul gets caught with that punch. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice kick there by Marlon Morris. Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Oh! Kick. Gets up 
again here, but Hurton. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Gotta be careful, armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't this be off to an angle. This might just be a matter of time. Side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big hook. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, and yet another knee fight. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now. He's out! He got it! What a performance! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Uriah Hall. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight.